But the centre of attraction today in the Eastwood gym was 17-year-old Eamon Loughran from Ballymena, who's become the latest addition to the Eastwood professional stable. Unbeaten in Ireland in five years of amateur boxing, Loughran, a recent silver medalist in the World Junior Championships, has opted to forego the chance of boxing in the Olympic Games. I probably wouldn't have went to the Olympics due my age and that there. And, uh, they would have pushed me for the European Juniors and uh, I didn't really want to go down there. Uh, basically I wanted to turn professional because my own decision and, uh, I feel it'll suit me more than uh, the amateur style. Whereas you could go to the Olympic Games and you could lose out in a close decision out there with you have this here game, you know, you have a chance, you know, because I can punch a bit so I can't. You know. So I have a good chance in this game here. I'll suit my style so it will. Because I, I can bob with a head so I can't move. Couldn't move him with my head. And uh, this this here will suit me so it will. This guy is something special. Uh, his ability to learn. He's a great pupil. Uh, He's been coached by Eddie Shaw and he's sparring with Bernardo Checa. Now, Checa found it uh, very easy to work with him in the beginning and he couldn't lay a glove on Checa, actually. Now, Checa has to pull out all the stops just after three months to try and keep him off. And anything Checa shows him today, tomorrow he'll do it on him. He's, he's, he's really a great boxing brain and uh, I'll be surprised if, he, if he's not a very, very big star. He certainly has a lot of talent. Of course, one understands that uh, a boy can be dedicated today and next year, nothing. Or uh, so many things can happen, they, they can have injuries. But barring all those things, and with just that little bit of luck, he's got all the skill and all the talent. Loughran will make his debut against Scotland's Adam Muir, who's won three of his five professional fights. On the bill also will be three former ABA champions, Paul Hodkinson at featherweight, Eamon McCauley at lightweight, and Andy Holligan at light welterweight. Another former top amateur, Sam Storey, now unbeaten in six professional fights, will be in action this week, but in Doncaster on Saturday night on the Herald Graham Bill. And he's hoping for an improvement in performance on his last outing. Well, at, at the time after the fight, I was, I was disappointed with my performance. A lot of people were expecting a bit more. But in a, a couple of days and I got over it, you know, you, you can't... You can't be a superman every night, and you know. But I, you have to, you have to take these things as they come. And I'm looking forward to the next fight, and I can hope that they'll be a bit better than they did last time. But in saying that, I couldn't have won any easier than I did the last time. But the Ulster Hall crowd, a great crowd. They know they're boxing, and they want nothing but the best. And I hope to give them that. You've been sparring now with one of the best middleweights in the business, Harold Graham. I mean, what sort of standards do you feel you've still got to achieve? comparing yourself with him? Well, Hurdle, as we all know, is uh, a very, very good boxer. You know, he's not number one contender for nothing. And uh, it's a great pleasure being able to spar the likes of himself. What impresses me most is what probably impresses most people, is the way he gets out of the way of punches. <laughs> it's very, it's like trying to catch a fly on the wall. You know, but uh, as I said, there's not too many Hurdle Greens around. And uh, it's a pleasure to spar with him, to train with him the professional circuit with his first fight against Scotland's Adam Muir. Several amateur boxers dream me to turn professional, you know, fight maybe for British title and things like that there. They were expected to feature in the Irish team for the Olympics. Are you not disappointed at the thought of perhaps losing out on a medal there? Yeah, I am disappointed not getting, but uh, I feel there's other things too in life, you know, as well, as well as the Olympic Games, you know. I would have loved him to have gone to the Olympics and win a gold. But he said, no, I've become disenchanted with the whole game. I'm going to turn professional. And he said, Mr. Eastwood, if you're not prepared to manage me, I'm going to look for a manager in London. Uh, I think it was even against the father's wishes, but I spoke to the father and he said, well, if the boy wants to turn professional, there's nothing I can do. We're not going to rush him, we're going to take our time. We give him four or five novice type fights, maybe six two minute rounds or four three minute rounds and see how he progresses and uh, we'll take them from there. We have six of the best fighters in these islands in this gym at the moment. And each and every one, including Harold Graham, said they've never seen anything like this guy for 17 years of age. He's just unbelievable. I've proved it as an amateur, junior level, not there, but have they prove it as a professional boxer? Never thought about it too much. Just try to get it off my mind. Are you the sort of fellow that gets nervous before a fight, and this being your first professional one, of course? 
I felt nervous uh, before, so I have, you know, in the world final and that there. But uh, I don't think this type of nerve of compare with the world final, so I think this will be easier for me. You know, with nerves, but I will be nervous getting into the ring, and that will be me. How are you going to approach this one from the start? I know you have a, a habit, perhaps, of being a little bit cold in the first couple of rounds. Uh, I just have to be a wee bit more cautious, uh, keep my hands up and uh, keep my chin tucked in, because Thompson is a fairly swift starter, so he is. Uh, I just have to be more careful. I'm not going to throw any more punches than I normally do, I just keep myself tucked up a wee bit better. Macaulay and Loughran weren't on the last Ulster Hall bill, obviously, but the men you're about to see were, and all fight again tonight.